Under the Ministry of Ayush, we, the students from Nepkoshlank Engineering College, Sivahasi, participated in Smart India Hackathon 2023 in the theme name of Medicinal Plant Classification with the problem statement title Identification of Different Medicinal Plants or Raw Materials through Image Processing Using Machine Learning Algorithms. Description of our project India boasts a diverse floral heritage renowned for its wealth of medicinal plants. However, the identification of these plants possess a significant challenge in Ayurvedic pharmaceutics. Numerous raw drugs share identical names in the market, causing confusion and misidentification. Collectors and traders often lack complete awareness of the precise morphological features and distinguishing attributes of many drugs due to seasonal and geographical variations as well as similar characteristics. So, as a result, we are going to develop a software which is capable of identifying different medicinal plants or raw materials through image processing using different machine learning algorithms. Here, in this project, we used three data sets, namely Malaikyu, Segmented Indian Leaf and Swedish, which is then combined together to form integrated data set. Here, the image data set for plant species is trained and tested, where training of data set involves training images, data integration and augmentation, pre-processing, pre-trained models, average ensembling models. And testing of data set includes testing images, pre-processing and trained model. And as a result, the model is deployed and the deployed model is stored temporarily in the repository. On the other hand, a person or user captures a leaf or leaves using mobile camera and the corresponding plant image is sent to your server as an input. The plant image from the server and the deployed model are fed into the deep learning models which creates a plant's information database that contains the attributes as plant species name and description which is then sent back to the server and in turn it sends a plant species name to the person or user who captures that particular image. So, as a result, the user can now know any plant's name simply by taking a snap of it. Here, the discussion of modules are follows. Module 1 contains data integration and data augmentation. Data integration. As I already said, we used three data sets which is then combined together to form integrated data set. So, our integrated data set contains 80 classes with more than 10,000 images. Data augmentation. It involves expanding and diversifying a data set through techniques such as rotating images or adjusting brightness and contrast. This method enhances the performance and resilience of machine learning models by exposing them to a broader range of training examples. So, our augmented data set has more than 20,000 images. Module 2 involves pre-processing of data. Data pre-processing is vital in data analysis and machine learning, encompassing cleaning, transforming and organizing raw data. Tasks like removing image backgrounds, eliminating noise, resizing, adjusting brightness and contrast along with splitting data into training and testing sets or standard steps. This process readies the data for effective analysis or model training. The example given here can be analyzed with the process of before and after pre-processing of the data. The image of leaves with the background is captured and it needs to be pre-processed. So as a result, the background of the image is removed here and it is pre-processed. Module 3 contains pre-trained models. Pre-training allows models to be optimized quickly. We use three pre-trained models namely VGG16, Inception V3 and ResNet and all these three are convolutional neural network where VGG16 is 16 layers deep, Inception V3 is 40 layers deep, ResNet is 50 layers deep. Here each model gives different prediction accuracy. So we use average ensemble model as a module 4. Module 4 involves of average ensemble model. It is used to improve the accuracy of predictions by combining the predictions from multiple models that are trained on different features. Finally, the mobile application is created. In order to use this application, the user needs to go to the dashboard of medicinal plant identification and need to create an account if he or she don't have one or else the user can log in using the Google account or his or her email and password. There, he or she can take real life images of the leaf or upload the leaf from the gallery and which gives a predicted output as plant species name. The innovations of our project are elimination of handcrafted features. Our model will also give predicted output 
when the user gives partial image of a leaf or different dimensioned image of a leaf. Dependencies Large data set of images of plants, mobile with good camera quality, image pre-processing, pre-trained CNN models, herbologist. Showstopper Lack of medicinal plant image data sets, unknown plant leaves, training time, lack of GPU, similar plant with different characteristics. Technology stack Pillow, OpenCV, TensorFlow, Android, Keras, Machine Learning and Neural Network. Followed by this, demonstration of the code has been shown. And I conclude my video presentation by expressing our gratitude to all for providing us with the wonderful opportunity. Thank you.